Welcome back, adventurers! My name is Coyote here with Tracker Jacker, and welcome to Zero to Hero! And, um, so, so I just I just zoomed in to see what Tracker was doing, and I realized uh, he done already fucked up. So let's talk about this! So, um... I don't, for, did, for the record, I don't know what I did wrong. You used fast inserters. Why would you use fast yeah. inserters? Because it was what I had on hand. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Right, but fast inserters use three times more power, three three point five times more power than yellow inserters. I don't know that. I mean, just hover over it. It says energy consumption. Energy. So yellow inserter uses thirteen, whereas a blue inserter or a fast inserter uses forty six. So that's three point five times more. And then on top of that. Yellow inserters can pick off of any lane. So there's no real reason to be wanting to grab blue inserters. That being said, one yellow line will actually feed about 20 boilers or so. So I'm not too sure why you went ahead. Because I had it on hand. I'm not too sure why you didn't just like upgrade the yellow lane to a red lane and then stick your boilers, like your second row of boilers, onto the first lane. Mm -hmm. Now you have I, two belts. Because I thought it was um, you one lane of coal would only fill um, 20 boilers, is what you're trying to say, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Why, why would you have not taken into account speed? Like Mm -hmm. That that would make no ins that would make no sense whatsoever. Like one lane of what would feed twenty lanes of uh, 20, 20 boilers, or not one, one lane, lane but coal. one belt of what? Yeah, of one coal. lane of coal like, with what input. Okay, now you've lost me. One lane of one, coal, one belt would do. Yeah, one belt of coal would fill the entire thing of power. Uh, right. Of twenty boilers. Right. But a belt of what? Like a yellow belt. That's like train. That's like saying a train would fill the unload station. Like how many wagons in the train, though? Okay. Does that not make sense to you? Um. No, it does not you say that, but... I mean, you're not taking into account the input, is what I'm saying. Like, you're just saying, like, oh, yeah, like, one of those is going to fill out 20 of these, like... But... One of those what? Like, a yellow belt worth of coal. Anyway, point is, one yellow belt worth of coal will fill out around 20 boilers. I think it's um, a little bit more, like, I think it's probably, like, 25 or 30. So, rule of thumb, you just want to usually have one yellow belt. Or the equivalent of one yellow belt per 20 boilers. So seeing as you had, you have like two setups right there, so you have 40 boilers, you could have just run them off the same belt, except just upgraded the yellow to a red, is what I'm saying. Mm. It's too late, I mean, there's not, not real much point, not much point doing it right now. Um, but, you may want to go ahead and upgrade the belt feeding into that because now you have one yellow belt being split into two belts so it's never Correction. actually we have one and a half belts feeding into two no because it's being bottlenecked by that like stretch between both splitters you have a lane and a half sorry you have a belt and a half of coal and then it's being pushed into one belt of coal and then that's being split into half you understand where the bottleneck's at so like right Here? there, you just yeah, you just have to like upgrade that to a red belt for that to make sense, and the splitter would have to be red as well. Okay, there should definitely be a way for me to stand on a belt without being pushed. 
there is a few mods for that, but I think it's actually built to the base game. It's just never active. Much like there's a um, there's a chain. Oh wait, what's what the hell is it called? A um. Damn it! Why am I like blanking out on what's called? There's a Getling gun. There we go. There's a Getling gun built into the base game. It was just never actually like activated because they consider it to be way too strong. And then they went ahead and gave us uranium rounds, so... Not sure about that. Tracker, you know that... You missed two belts? No. Look right where I'm at. Let me come back. Got it. You job right the first time. Anyway, um, okay, so... I'm, I'm up in power. Oh, shoot. You know what? I even didn't say what I want to work on today. I'm going to kind of let Tracker continue set up to set up defenses. I'm also going to work on blue and gray science. Kind of finish that up. That being said, uh, I do want to point out one thing. You know how, like, when we have laser turrets, these things go flicker like hell? Because a laser turret requires 2.4 megawatts per shot on, like, the base damage? Yes? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So, when that laser turret shoots... These steam engines go crazy. So that's usually why you have a power field, right? Like battery field. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, we're not at the point where we can really afford those too, too efficiently. And like, it's a really good system to have late game, but early game, there has to be an alternative to it. So I was actually playing on one of the multiplayer madnesses and I realized we can use steam tanks. And that'll store up excess steam when we're not using it and then it'll just waste that excess steam when those turrets fire that is actually interesting and i just thought like holy hell is that revolutionary that being said i used to use a system prior but for water like back of yonder with the whole the old one by one boilers and uh or was it one by one i think it was one by one and it never, I never really got it like super efficient, but nowadays, man, that just makes so much sense with these steam tanks. Let's move this guy a little bit though. So that's gonna give us like the equivalent of a battery field early on. And seeing makes as one, one boiler can only feed two steam engines, only the excess is going into those tanks. Mine balloon. All right. So you you do your defenses though. We have stone. I should plug that in though. Yes. Yes. Did you finish? Building the mega base, not the mega base, the um, Which one <laughs> the mall. Yes, yes, and no. I'm just, or I guess it's just no. I'm missing the stone, <laughs> stone, and the brick. Stone isn't on the main bus, but brick is. No, stone oh. is on the main bus. I forgot about the stone. Let's see here. Um, so what are you what are you missing? Um, sorry, had a yawn. Um, okay. Laser turrets. Laser turrets. Laser turrets would require batteries. And, oh, batteries aren't plugged in yet. Okay. Uh, give me a second. No, what am I doing? Come on. Get this right. And then wizard turrets, which are going to be like... Yeah. And that. Doesn't need to be red. Yeah, it's the only thing I have on hand. 
for the very simple reason that the output is yellow. So that's just wasteful of resources at this stage. How's it that you don't have yellow belts on you? Oh, crud. Stop breaking stuff. Well, you're deleting it as I'm deleting it. Tracker, why wouldn't you like... Whatever. You keep like skipping random... Like you don't respect the bus is what I'm saying. Not sure why. Anywho, these I don't like the bus. Uh, he's overrated anyway. All right, I, I, I like cars. I don't like buses. Eh, you're too poor to afford a car. <laughs> <laughs> I've only used the bus like a few times in my life until like I moved to where I live right now, and I kind of had to use it like quite a bit for like the first few years. Yo, buses are nasty, man. The first time I got on a bus. In Ottawa, which is the city I live in, there's like some dude that just like I, he must have had like some really bad IBS, and he was just crapping his pants, and he just happened to be sitting in front of me. And it's like one of those situations where like yeah, like I get it, dude. The guy must have like an upset tummy, like you know that happens. And at the same time, like I really don't want to be sitting next to you right now. <laughs> like I get you, I just don't want to be near you. Oh, it was... I was like, all right, I gotta, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta fix this. Get off the bus and get on another one. No, no. Well, I mean, yeah, I could have done that. Then I would have been massively late for work. And like, it was super funny because prior to getting on the bus, I was explaining to like my girlfriend at the time how like buses aren't that bad. And, um, they be bad. Do we have logistics spots? No, because we don't have red chips. Because we don't have green chips. We don't have green chips, because we don't have copper. There we go. I'm going to make a few logistics spots. Why? Why? Because. But why, tracker? We have very, very few resources right now. And you want to use resources on just things that would allow you to be lazier? Mm-hmm. As opposed to- We are to being attacked, and I don't know why. I set up, I set up defenses. And what does that have to do with logistic bots? No, I just noticed it. Sorry, I went off. I saw that we were being attacked. We should not be. Die, die. You remember how, like, earlier I was like, you could totally do things, but you have to be able to explain it? Logistic bots early on are not something that you can very properly explain. Oh, there you are. I was wondering when we were being attacked. Alright, just ignore me. Not like I was trying no, to. No, I heard you. I was trying to focus at the same time. Um. Uh, we have a lot of construction bots. We don't really need more construction bots. And the construction bots are always being put in when we need more. So it's, it's right now it's it's set on a condition where like it reads the available bots, and when available bots hit zero, it adds more construction bots in. So that being mm -hmm. said, if we're if we're adding more construction bots, it means that we're cons like we're building up the infrastructure somewhere. Whereas logistic bots are only used to be lazy. Like they're used to fill requesters, like requester, um, requester chests, or buffer chests, or like empty out your inventory or bring you stuff. So in in all those circumstances, they're just for laziness. Don't we, we need don't have enough plants? resources to spare? That being said, the like the system will go ahead and actually start making logistic bots once we have the resources for it. Right now, the problem is we don't have any red chips. True. Don't we need purple science and yellow science? Four. Um, I thought we discussed um, 
off time that we needed purple science for something. I mean, we need all the sciences, really. Okay. I would focus on just, like, us getting, you know, green chips. And you said we need a coal for green chips? I mean, copper? Yep. I'm, I'm plugging in the thing now. You should have plugged in from the start. What didn't I plug in? The three lanes that you just left there. Okay, I'll build the uh, smelting then. Yeah, I'll help you. Productive. I'll do something productive instead of. It's good to get productive at. things every now and then. Eh, you're gonna get yelled at regardless. All right. Yeah, true. Even if I do everything right, I'll still get you. No, no, no. Oh, if you did everything right, you probably wouldn't be here. You, ah, oh, dang it, you don't reach. Um, actually. And then. Who's that? We I need some stone. Why would I have run these work. belts here? It seems so inefficient. What? I ran the stone brick. You sure it wasn't me? No, it's it, I mean it says coyote, so it's totally me. But I ran them in a way that they're gonna conflict with copper, so now I have to like reroute them. I'm not too sure why I would have done that. Seems really short sighted. I noticed that and just didn't question you. Oh, okay. So that would happen. Well, if I questioned you, then. I don't know. If I can't defend my point, then I should be questioning myself. And when, like, when you want to argue something, I'm totally for it, but you have to give me an argument. You can't just be like, well, cuz. Like, cuz is never an argument for anything. If you don't know how to argue a point, like, other than, like, well, I just want it to be that way, it's like, oh, then maybe you're. Like, and I thought you would have, um, I thought you would have, uh, underground belted over it, under it. You thought I'd be, I'd underground it. Okay. Um, that could have worked for nothing. Wait, no, that could have worked if we, like, if I made one of them red and the other one yellow, but then when I would have upgraded them, I would have been screwed. Why? Well, look where the look where the brick is right now, right? Wait a second, I'm coming back down. Oh crap! We're being attacked. Help! Help! Yeah, that's a lot of little stutters. How are they the not, like... They... Well, they're, they're coming from that one nest that's down below. That has, like, two... Or that one... Okay, they're coming from those nests that has two spawners. There we go. That's what I, was I thought I went ahead and improved um, defense and... No, I didn't improve defense and coal. No, I didn't. I did. I did. Right, but you didn't defend the stone. They're just running around it. It's not a wall, right? No. All right, let's let's just drop all that there for now. And then, okay. So point being, that wouldn't have worked. I would have been able to like, it would have ended up being a little bit more spaghetti than it already is, and I'm not really fond of that. I don't wow. like spaghettis. Spaghettios. You and your spaghetti hating. I have such a hatred for spaghetti. You have yes, no yes, idea. you do. Oh, spaghetti to me is I know, like I know. And I was, I was, I was streaming earlier today, and I, I went on such a rant about spaghetti, and it's getting to the point where people are just like purposely trying to trigger me about spaghetti. I hate it. 
I was Wait, actually worse. thinking about when when my mo when my server was still running because I still have to fix that. Um, when my server was still running, I was actually thinking about um, installing a mod that people had to use um, that would allow you to place down something, and after about mm, half hour, it'd be permanent. You couldn't pick it back up. You couldn't destroy it. You couldn't do anything. It's a really odd mod to have. It makes you learn to adapt, because... I mean that, or people would just, you know, properly build things from the start. Yeah, it would learn, make you learn to adapt, to build stuff correctly the first way. That's not what adapting means, though. Adapting would mean, like, spaghetti. Like, spaghetti's all about adapting. It's like, ah, crap, this is built the way it is, let's just kind of work around it. That's adapting. <laughs> Yes, but adapting also helps with longevity in life and species as well. What the hell does that have to do with anything of which we're speaking? You said adapting. Is it... I was trying to make an argument for the word. I'm not arguing about the word. I'm saying that the word me that it, you're using it wrong. This How? is one of those moments where I'm gonna like Google it and prove to you that you're wrong. <laughs> I haven't done those that in like a few episodes, so like, we're, we're good. I have yet to see that you do that. Uh, I mean, I have watched a couple of episodes, but not for too long. Did you see I the last episode or like the, the? It's not the last episode. It must have been like two or three episodes by now. Two or three episodes ago when I did the first person shooter thing? No, I... <sighs> that was fun. Was it two or three episodes ago? Something like that. The episode's okay, called I'll First Person Shooter. It. First Person Factorio? First Person Factorio. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'll look that up, because... That must be interesting. And then I'll actually learn how to do that stuff. The First Person Factorio? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I don't. I don't mention what the keybinds are. People have to figure that out by themselves. Plus, um, when I was looking at the footage again, I realized that I guess it's still kind of buggy. They still have some bugs that they have to work out. Dang it! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. You need to die now. Yes. Oh man. Nope. Feels bad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna run. Do we have tanks? No, because we don't have bread chips. Because we don't have copper. So speaking of which, let's be working on that copper. I thought you were building up my smelters, what happened? Should I give up on that? No, no I, we had... I said at the beginning of this episode that I was going to work on gray and blue science. I kind of am working on blue science because I'm working on getting chips. So I can, I could, I could totally justify it that way. I got to get rid of like a bunch of these things though. My inventory is full of stuff. No, because I was going to clear out the biters. Oh, wait, that's not what. Um, I'm... so we okay. wouldn't have any biter problems, right? But I almost died. Did you know? Maybe, possibly. We won't talk about it. Is that how that goes? No, I don't want to talk okay. about how I almost died. It's too scary. I I would imagine some scary stuff going on there. Too many. There were too many of them. Got PTSD factorial style. <laughs> They're all around us. They're coming from all sides. I love That's Jimmy back there, man. He's dead. Jimmy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did they have to kill him? I'm going to kick down my door soon. Really? Shut the hell up, Coyote. <laughs> I forgot I had grenades. I should have used the grenades. 
feel like grenades are one of those things I'm just never going to use. I try using them all the time, and it's just like, eh. I just keep forgetting them. They're not as strong as you think they should be. They're good maybe like early on when you're fighting like the first tier of biters. And then... I don't think they're strong to begin with. But that's like they're good against the first tier of biters. And like even then, if you go ahead and upgrade your like your bullet damage, just slightly, you're fine. There's no freaking way we had a hundred. Oh, it's 75. Uh, might have enough. What was I going to do? I finished that. Oh, I need more stone. I mean, I, I would argue otherwise, seeing as we only have four lanes of input. You'd be like, what? finish building the four lanes of input. Oh. True. I can do that. I thought we had more input for some reason. We can get more input. We're right next to a, um, to the west. We're right next to a one million copper ore patch. We just haven't connected it up yet. We don't really... I mean, early on, you really don't need that much copper. Like, it, you'll ha you'll need, like, three times more iron than copper. It's only really when you get to the point where you have to rely quite a bit on green ships that you're like, okay, now I need copper. We need that copper. That copper. Give me that. You copper. can't catch me, copper. No. Oh. But okay. Bad. When I made that joke. You shun me. You don't get to make that joke. I shunned Cap. you for that joke? Cap. Yeah, because I, I messed it up. I then goofed it. And then uh, I tried to recover and I didn't do so efficiently. Yeah, it sounds kind of like you. I got the stutters sometimes. Advantages and disadvantages of being bilingual, I guess. Sometimes, like, the languages just meld up in your mind. Plus, like, my entire upbringing, I, I always kind of spoke two languages at the same time. So you can switch between one and the other as you feel comfortable. And it it's it always takes me a little bit back when I try to just speak English. Because you have to focus on just, like, oh, no, I would usually just switch to, like, another language there. But, like, no, 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 you have to stay in English. Because no one would understand you. And I go, right... I have that same problem at work, is, um... Does he speak half polar bear? I work in a Mexican restaurant. Okay. My Spanish? Is that what you're trying to get towards? No, my work- my co-workers speak Spanish. So, so they're trying you. to speak to no, it's not me, but they're trying to speak to me and they automatically just start switching from English to Spanish and Spanish to English. I'm like, what? So I used to work in like some of the embassies in the capital. And um, it's so funny because regardless of what the embassy you're in, like I was working in the, in the embassy of France once and you think the embassy of France, everyone would speak French, right? And it's just like everyone was speaking Latin there or Spanish, not Latin. Latin would be a very odd language. It would, Latin's a dead language. Yes. But everyone was speaking Spanish, I just found that to be so hilarious. I mean, like, I, I get I get by in Spanish, so it wasn't the end of the world, but it was just like, it's so funny. You would think that everyone speaks, you know, French here. But, uh, no. And it's the same thing for, like, it was the same thing for the, the British High Commission, so, like, the, the embassy of, of the UK. Like, once again, the help all speaks Spanish, and I'm like, I really feel like the odd man out right now. Like, everyone just looks at you, like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, that's... It's called in to help. Alright. You can't speak our language, get out. Oh, it's almost like, why the fuck are you even here? Like, I mean, screw you guys. The embassy of the UK, like... Oh wait, no. Maybe it's... Oh wait, that's probably not right. 
Would there be like an Irish embassy? Would that be a thing? Or like a maybe. Scotland? So maybe that's like the embassy of only England. Maybe. Point is, that's always the, that, that's always something that made me laugh. It's just like you expect them to speak one. It's, it's like that scene in Rush Hour Three, where uh, Chris Tucker and Jack Chan are interrogating some dude that looks very Asian, and he just starts speaking French. <laughs> and uh, Chris Tucker's just like he looks to Jack Chan. He's like, "Yo, man, look at the hell's he saying? Like, I don't know. He's speaking French." <laughs> and they bitch slap the hell out of him. Like. Stop shaming yourself and speak Chinese! Got to bring in the nun and everything. Oh man, that was a funny movie. What the hell is that? I think he's speaking French. French? What kind of gentleman speak French? Tell him to stop playing around and talk right. How can I tell him? I don't speak French. Ah! Talk right, man. No! Stop humiliating yourself! I'm gonna take it by the lack of laughter that's not a movie you watched. No. How did you not see Rush Hour? That is such a good movie. Is it a comedy? It is definitely a comedy. That I haven't watched it. You don't watch comedies? I don't watch most comedies. This is an old comedy too. Like this is Jackie Chan, like back in his heyday. So this must be like Oh god, this must be what? Probably like early two thousands? He has a really good movie, though. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with my mouse? Everything. Okay, so let's let's do it this way. What's your favorite movie? Um... It's a game where we're totally not getting endorsed by this, but just saying. That's a hard one. Okay, so it's just one of your top five movies, or top ten movies. Now are we sticking to live action or animated? Whatever the hell you want. Okay, the number one has probably got to be Castle in the Sky, Laputa. Um... Wait, is Castle number... in the Sky the one with, like, the vampire killer and vampires and stuff? No. Where he has, like, a... No a truck that has like a bunch of no, no. All right, then that it has nothing to do with vampires. Or it wasn't vampires, just like like monsters of some sort. Monsters no? doing what? Uh, I, I I can't remember, but he's like some type of of monster killer. Mm -mm. He's like a, he's like a, a demon killer, if you want. No, this one's about two kids. Um. Trying to find the legendary castle in the sky that um Oh that is so totally not what I was thinking of. Nope. Oh. Um supposedly has the power to rule the world. Well at least the enemy knows that. Um and then tries to use it to, you know, rule the world. Why would a castle in the sky rule the okay, whatever. It has a powerful crystal inside of it that has the power to be able to blow up entire cities within a blink of an eye. That just kind of feels like the plot to like every single movie out there. Mm. Anyway. Kind of. can't like defend against like the sky or something. Hmm? Oh no, something's coming from the sky. Let's totally not know how to deal with this. It's a very old um, animated film. Uh, anime film. Okay, so what's so great about it? Like, what did you like about it? Plot, the storyline, uh, the characters? The art style. Okay. Um, some of the characters, their backstory was nice, um, let's see, what else? Um, the music in it was amazing. Alright, um, okay, so now let's, let's, let's shy away, however, from the animated style. 
So let's go back to like real live action movies. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Live actions for sure. Or like um, more. Oh god! No! Are you being eaten? Well, look at the map. Oh, oh, that isn't fun. You and your crappy defenses. I only defended what was being attacked. That's ugh, such a poor argument. God, it's poor. Damn. But how much did they eat? It's not the how much did they eat. It's like how there's like a there must have been at least a hundred small spitters there. How many were there? Oh what? my goodness gracious, man. Yep. They done bad, though. Okay, this needs to go. So I was working on science, and I realized how, like, inefficient this thing is. It's, like, not properly ratioed, and all the things be wrong with it. Ah, damn it. Whatever. Well, I think you use perfect systems with your science. It's not that it's perfect systems, it's, it's that it's modular, like it's scalable. And uh, for whatever reason, in my like sleep deprived state when I was building Blue Science, um, I messed up all the ratios in it. Like, everything. I, I found a flock of bots that are flying in a, quite, in a V like um, usual birds with they this is back to the storage chest. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. They're coming to pick your stuff up. You no, know, they're dropping off. Oh, like they were going towards the thing. Yeah. See oh. This? Yes. Now. <laughs> you know, like how everyone has their thing about Factorio, like that moment, like that feel where you're just like, you feel complete, the most satisfying mm -hmm. part. I'm all about that flock of bots, though, like the swarm. Yes. And they come in to take it all away. Just like a, a beautiful wave just cleansing your entire build. Like, that's just, that's just like poetic to me. And then there's some people that are all about like belts. And I'm just like, eh, whatever. Belts. <laughs> Who uses them anymore? Obsolete tech. It's Coyote. Hmm. It's, it's still here. It is time. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Go like and subscribe down below. I'm Tracker. I like to watch bots. I like so too.